The moment your brain realizes that it's looking at something not entirely human, it can set off alarm bells and go into a sort of panic mode. As it turns out, there's a scientific theory behind this phenomenon. It's called the Uncanny Valley. A hypothesis in the field of robotics and human-robot interaction first proposed in the 1970s by Japanese researcher Masahiro Mori. The theory is often used to explain why certain humanoid robots, even though they may seem highly advanced in terms of appearance and movement, can still evoke strong feelings of disgust, fear, or discomfort in some people. This graph comparing human likeness and familiarity is often used to visualize the uncanny valley. Machine learning AI models like GANs are advancing rapidly. The same technology that created these hyper-realistic images of people who don't exist has also given birth to an uncanny world of deepfake videos. What's up, TikTok? On February 22nd, 2021, Tom Cruise unintentionally became the face of modern deepfake technology. I say unintentionally because this isn't really a video of Tom Cruise. It's a piece of AI-generated content produced by American actor Miles Fisher and Belgian VFX wizard Chris Ume. This video was seen by millions of people worldwide and was covered by multiple major news outlets soon after its release. Since then, Fisher and Ume have collaborated on dozens of parody videos of the famous actor. Their wildly successful TikTok account, Deep Tom Cruise, now boasts over 5 million followers and has become its own alternate virtual reality unto itself, where a slightly younger version of Tom Cruise can be seen doing everything from singing, dancing, playing guitar, telling jokes, sharing tidbits of wisdom, hanging out with celebrities, and even speaking different languages, all brought to you by the power of AI. As co-founder of the VFX company Metaphysic, Chris is part of an extremely talented team that is bending reality as we know it. If you like what you're seeing, just wait till what's coming next. What is your perception of reality? If you can see, hear, taste, or smell something, does that make it real? The body is important. But it doesn't seem to be essential to being a human. In fact, humans are constantly trying to overcome their physical limitations with technology. According to their website, the mission of Metaphysic is to expand the frontiers of human expression through the ethical application of artificial intelligence, and to build a future where everyone can create deeply relevant and delightful content for the communities they care about. Judging by the delightful content Chris and his team have showcased so far, it seems like anything is possible. He can even remove my mustache. Now you can see your favorite celebrity or influencer transplanted into the most unlikely or impossible scenarios. Ever wondered what it would be like if Snoop Dogg had an ASMR side hustle? Well, now you don't have to. We all know Will Smith for his infamous slap at the Oscars. Wow! But what if he was actually a kung fu master? Your style is unorthodox but effective. Or if he traded places with his daughter for a day. When you're up on stage, it's really about opening up and giving your all. I just let it all flow out. <laughs> this technology defies logic and even time itself. Dead icons of the past can now be resurrected in full color and detail, like this live performance by deepfake Elvis Presley, this incredible digital reconstruction of Albert Einstein speaking, or even Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II rapping Eminem lyrics at supersonic speeds. Not only is AI advanced enough to fool our eyes, it's now smart enough to fool our ears too. I'm not here to scare you, but what I'm about to share might put the fear of God deep in your soul. Voice technology research companies like Respeecher and Eleven Labs have developed advanced speech synthesis and natural language processing techniques using proprietary machine learning technology that are set to completely disrupt the spoken word itself. For years, synthesized voices sounded robotic or artificial, lacking the nuance and emotional expression of a real human voice. Nice to meet you. Please don't touch. Okay, okay. All of that has changed with what is now known as voice conversion, aka voice cloning. In addition to offering incredibly lifelike text-to-speech for free using default AI-generated voices, Eleven Labs also offers two types of voice cloning services to their customers, professional and instant. 
Professionally cloned voice requires training from a large sample size, but the results should be indistinguishable from the original speaker's voice. For anyone not willing to invest $500 per month for this level of fidelity, the instant option for cloning your own custom voice only requires a one minute sample of clean audio, and the results are by all means getting very close to perfect. It's frightening. It's really frightening how good this text-to-speech is getting, and Eleven Labs killed it with this technology. Artificial hyper-realistic stills, motion, and now audio. The mind-boggling potential of these groundbreaking technologies really cannot be overstated. The way we produce, distribute, and consume media is about to change forever. Early movers in this industry predict in the next five to seven years the same quality of VFX currently only available to the most well-funded Hollywood studios will be available to anyone. Our brave new synthetic future will be more cost-effective, personalized, engaging, and accessible than ever before. Musicians will be able to sing in any language. Authors, video game developers, and filmmakers will be able to breathe new life into their characters. Entire ad campaigns will be created remotely by crafting hyper-realistic digital avatars of any brand ambassador without the need for them to be physically present on set. This will help ad agencies and talent agencies alike by cutting costs on production while unlocking a level of productivity and profitability in their talent that was previously impossible for them to access. This high quality avatar constructed from the likeness of model and influencer Jasmine Sanders is just one example of what many expect to be a new frontier in synthetic marketing. The applications of these technologies will extend far beyond the artistic and commercial, with potential use cases also lying in the practical fields of medicine, education, and communication as well. While the democratization of synthetic media has the potential to bring many benefits to our society, many people are raising important concerns about the impact that it may have on people's lives, and the way that they experience and understand the world around them. But as we all know, human nature is a double-edged sword. Every tool that mankind possesses can be used for both good and evil. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. America, you blame me for interfering with your democracy, but I don't have to. Is it not hard for democracy to collapse? What do you have to do? Is it nothing? While these political deepfake videos provide a sobering reminder of how this technology could be used to create fake news and influence future political decisions, there are already very real bad actors using synthetic audio and video to commit very real crimes like blackmail, fraud, and identity theft. I've had an accident, Dad, help me, that voice, it was... It was her. It was her. And it was her voice. I know it was. In 2020, a manager at a Hong Kong bank was fooled by a voice phishing scam using a synthetic voice clone of one of the bank's directors to authorize a bank transfer of $35 million. A very similar incident also occurred a year earlier when the CEO of a British energy company was scammed out of $243,000. Given that the quality of these deep fakes can be improved drastically when trained on a large enough data set, that's where the magic happens. This poses an even greater threat to anyone with a well-established online presence. James Vincent details an example of this in a recent article for The Verge, where 4chan trolls used the voice cloning software from Eleven Labs to generate fake hate speech targeting celebrities like Joe Rogan and Emma Watson. It's, it's definitely... It's definitely a bit... It's a bit, bit chilling. Nerve-wracking. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. That's what I'm worried about, is the volley... I, th I feel like this is the very first volley in a war on reality. They could have me say anything at this point. Matching the rate at which new technologies can be safeguarded versus the rate at which people develop the means to exploit them has always been an uphill battle for every developer. The current worries that I have are that there are going to be disinformation problems or economic shocks or something else at a level far beyond anything we're prepared for. The concerning reality is that AI is moving faster than anything we've ever experienced. And it begs the question, as humankind dives deeper into the uncanny valley, will we be able to navigate safely to the other side? And if so, what will be there waiting for us? Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. For more videos about artificial intelligence, science, and technology, subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, watch another video here.